Today, I'm going to draw my life. My name is Marian Ramirez. I was born in the Bronx, New York. Both of my parents are from Puerto Rico. I've been to Puerto Rico three to four times in my life. I understand Spanish, but sometimes I just don't speak it. I don't know why. <laughs> my family consists of me, my mom, my dad, and my two younger sisters. We have four chihuahuas named Angel, Gucci, and their puppies, Princeton Jr. And we also have a pet bunny. His name is Oreo, like the cookie. Other pets we used to have were chicks, another rabbit, and a hamster named Jerry and Brian, who unfortunately died. When I was younger, I liked to read a lot. I did very well in school, and I watched a lot of TV. I watched a lot of Nickelodeon cartoons. My favorites were Rugrats, Hey Arnold, which I still watch today, Cat Dog, and other shows like The Simpsons, The McGuire, Kim Possible, That's a Raven, etc. The Lion King was my favorite movie, and I would watch it so many times when I was little that the VHS actually broke. I still watch it from time to time, though. My younger sister was born and moved from one apartment to another, and I attended CS102. I had a lot of friends. When I was younger, I loved to dance, and I actually took a lot of dance classes like tap, ballet, jazz, modern. I also love to draw and color my coloring books. I was the smart one in class and I would always answer questions and people knew me as a smart little girl. My favorite teacher was my fifth grade teacher, Miss Toro. She encouraged me to write poetry and helped me actually submit a poem to a contest and I was one of the lucky students to get published in the book, which was pretty cool. It was around that time that my best friend from third grade, Bianca, moved. We would do everything together, go to the park, braid each other's hair. Since my mom and her stepmom were close friends, we always hung out. She had four younger sisters, and they would also hang out with my younger sisters. Things were awesome until Bianca would tell me how her father would abuse and hit her and her mother from time to time. I would always be there for her. So anyway, when I was in sixth grade, Bianca moved away. But we kept writing letters to each other. This was before cell phones and my parents didn't have a computer until 2007. I looked forward to writing letters and seeing how well she was doing in her new school. A few years later, my mom decided to meet up and we talked for a little while. But things felt different, and I never saw her after that. And sadly, the letters stopped. After that, life got complicated. My grandma passed away, and my family thought it was time to start a new life and move far away. We moved to Newburgh to a bigger house that had a tree house in the backyard, which was pretty exciting for me at the time. I attended Foster Town for six, the remainder of my sixth grade year, and then South Junior High. Seventh grade was kind of a blur. I was sad a lot and didn't have many friends, and would often find myself sitting alone at lunch. And eventually I made a friend who I ended up having a crush on, a really big crush on, all through junior high. It was obvious he was my friend because I was the smartest girl in class and would often help him on projects and homework. Eventually we stopped talking. Eighth grade was better. I made more friends and I started to find myself. And I even joined dance ensemble and performed on stage a few times. One day, I guess in an effort to fix my hair, I accidentally cut my bangs too short. I ended up having to donate 11 to 12 inches of my hair. I liked my short hair at first, but then it got poofy and I just started hating it. Then high school began, NFA, New York Free Academy. I wasn't a popular girl, but I did have a large circle of friends that I hung out with. I joined dance, a literary magazine called The Colonnade, and 
Science Honor Society, National Honor Society, all that other stuff. And of course there were crushes. I mean, what's high school without crushes? <laughs> I'm not going to get into names or anything like that, but I did remember having a crush on two guys at the same time, and they still have no idea to this day that I had a huge crush on them. Although I don't speak to one of them anymore, but if I did, I probably wouldn't tell them that I liked them and daydreamed about him during class. I'm the kind of person that falls really hard for someone. I won't say anything, I kind of just do my awkward laugh, flirt type thing. I awkwardly laugh and look away a lot. I'm weird, I know. Senior year was great. I became design editor of the NFA Word, and we won first place in the contest. I took BizCom 1 and 2, and I knew then that I wanted to be a graphic designer and take graphic design classes in college. That was my poor attempt at drawing Gebhardt. <laughs> and came prom and graduation, and then college. Yay! I attended so many new faults. And honestly, I'm not the kind of person that adjusts well to change. I did what typical college freshmen do. Hung out with other people, party, meet new friends, but after all that I got bored and found myself without friends again. I was homesick and I missed a lot of my old friends back at home, which I still keep in contact with and hang out during breaks. I joined a dance team called the Warriors and I applied to the BFA program graphic design and got in. In the summer of 2007, I got my first job at Kmart, which I eventually ended up hating and never want to go back to. But it was an interesting experience and I learned a lot. Then had more crushes and relationships that went up and down and I often found myself being the one to end it. College got hard. I was stressed, alone, felt like no one was there to talk to, and I, yeah. It was dark here. I try not to think about it from time to time. I don't know why I'm so unhappy. But I kept doing what I love. I found myself getting better at art and I finally got around to taking my road test and finally getting my driver's license. And everything changed the summer of 2012. I got closer to my friends, I was finding myself again. And I was just living and hanging out and being me. I guess. <laughs> I hung out with my family a lot and we went to Hershey Park which is amazing and I love chocolate so the chocolate tour was just great. Other things I'm obsessed with are Batman, England, making a thousand paper cranes, the color blue, and the main. The main is my favorite band in the world. <laughs> and on May 17, 2012 I actually went to one of their concerts and I saw them and the lead singer John O'Hugging and it was like the best night of my life. <laughs> School started again and I went back with an open mind. I remember break was around. It was great too, filled with awesome memories, Christmas, New Year's, my birthday. My life now. I'm now co-president of the Warriors dance team and we just had like an awesome show. I helped some of the choreography. Next year I'm going to be creative director of of our guard magazine on campus. And this year, with the help of all my friends voting, I won my first big art contest. My art was gonna be in the gallery in London in April, and I'm very excited about that. Next year, I'm gonna be starting graphic design thesis and hopefully have the BFA show May 2014 when I graduate. I plan to apply to grad school in New York City, perhaps get a job or live there. And I hope to achieve some things on my bucket list, like swim with dolphins or visit London. And who knows what the future holds for me. Maybe I'll end up getting married or living on the beach or having a honeymoon at a new beach. That might sound crazy, but <laughs> hey, my future husband must be crazy enough to marry me in the first place. I maybe have two kids, a girl and a boy, I live in a fancy house, and I'll be a professional graphic designer, and he'll be Zac Efron. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but yeah. Girl can dream. My life in a nutshell.
I couldn't be where I am today without the help of my family, my friends, and art, of course. Thank you for dealing with my insanity and being a part of my life. I love you all.